Hey guys, it's Phoenix Automotive here again, and in this video I am going to show you how to do an update on your unit. Now this is for either Android 7.1 fast boots or uh, anything lower like Android 4.4. Before you go to your computer to download the file, it will either be called an update.img or px3.img. You need to check the software on your unit to see what Android version it is. So go into settings, more settings. After you go into more settings, uh, it could be white or it could be a black screen. You're going to go scroll down to about device. Now it says Android 7.1, but you shouldn't believe that just yet. Press the about device, go to Android version, and press that multiple times until something pops up. Now if it's N, that means it's 7.1. It's Android Nougat. Um, if it's a K, that means it's Android 4.4 KitKat. So this unit is a uh, Android 7.1 because it shows an N and that means you would need to use a px3.img file. 4.4 uh, Android KitKat would use update.img. So let's move on to the computer and get this USB ready for the install on the update. Now that you know what software your unit is, whether it's 7.1 or lower, 4.4, uh, you need your USB thumb drive and you need to make sure that this USB thumb drive is formatted to FAT32. So this is a 64 gigabyte thumb drive. Let's put it in the laptop and see what it is. So it's going to pop up right here and you can see that it's USB drive E. Uh, I'm going to press right click the drive properties and you can see that is X fat. So because it's X fat, I need to format it. Uh, if your thumb drive is less than 32 gigs, you can actually right click it, press format, and you will have an option to choose FAT32. But because this thumb drive is more than 32 gigabytes, I have to use a software to do a quick format. And I'll leave the description below a Dropbox link to download the software, but the software is called GUI Format right here. So when I double click this, It'll open this program right here, and you can see uh, there's two drives, C and E, and on this PC, my USB thumb drive is E. So I'm gonna choose E, and I am gonna do a quick format so that it changes from EXFAT to FAT32. It says it's being used right now. Let's see. Let's just do a quick format to make it FAT32. Okay, so it's still FAT32, I mean EX FAT, and let's make it FAT32. So now that it's formatting, it's going to change my USB thumb drive to FAT32. If I press close and I right click the properties again, you can see it shows FAT32. Now that your USB thumb drive is FAT32, I'm going to open it right here, and I am going to go to Dropbox. So you'll either get this link that has an update.img right here or a px3.img. Because I'm doing this on the unit you saw earlier, which is a 7.1, I'm going to use the px3.img button uh, file on the top right, direct download. It's gonna go straight to my downloads folder. Now, if you're doing this multiple times, it'll actually, this is the third time I'm installing it. So the file is called px3 parentheses, two, two parentheses. We're gonna wait till it downloads. It is a kind of a big file. You could see it's 1.45 gigabytes. So I'll come back when this is finished downloading and show you what's up. I finished downloading the file into my downloads folder and I dragged it into my USB thumb drive. Now what I can do is eject the thumb drive and take it out to my unit. Let's go. From here, it's pretty straightforward. You take your USB and you plug it into one of the two outlets. Now, if you plug it into the first outlet, you can see that a USB logo will come up right here. Uh, when that USB comes up, that just means the unit is reading the USB. And there you go. So that's where the update comes up. There's the USB logo and you're just gonna press install. If this doesn't pop up after a while, uh, just switch the USB to the other port and it should also pop up. You have 17 seconds to confirm, press install, and you're set. Now this one's already been installed, so that's how to do the update. 
I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any other questions, check out the website. There's a knowledge base tab. And also you can uh, use the contact us tab to either email, call, um, or send us a message. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.